Uh, Olivier Giroud is a type of striker that kind of dying right now. The old school, holding the ball, passing the ball to the winger, getting in the box, breaking your neck to, to score uh, on a header. But what I like with him is how he puts people in in the game. He's very good. He will give your your other assists sometime when you link up with him on the one-two. Um, he's that type of player. And I think it's very good for the national team also to have a different uh, dimension than the other guys that like to go in behind and go on the wing and, and drop. Uh, I think that's great for 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 Dilidation to have a, a striker like uh, like Olivier Giroud. Where, where do you sort of rank Olivier in the you know in the recent strikers that we've seen across Europe in recent times? And how would you feel if he does go on and break your record? Oh, it'll be great, great achievements. Uh, record has, are made to be broken. Uh, I often speak to him actually. Whenever he's, he scores a goal or two, I always say to him, "Well done," because uh, he deserves it. Listen, um, in the, in 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 the in the past years or three, four years, like it seems like he's struggling at times to get a start with uh, with his team at the club level. But whenever he plays, whether if it's at a club level or in a national team, he often delivers. And yes, I know people will tell me that he didn't score a goal at the World Cup, but at the end of the day, he lifted the trophy. So it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Still waiting on the England squad, but there's a chance that Bakaya Saka may well be involved, especially now it's gone up to 26. Did you ever coach Bakaya when you went back to Arsenal? And working? Yeah, we had a couple of sessions. Uh, with Bocayo, uh, not only with him, Joe Willock, George Da Silva, uh, Nathan Taylor that plays for Southampton. Uh, a lot of those guys, you know, Benasse, Glenn Camara, like you will see them, Rangers, Milan, mm -hmm. uh, the Arsenal Academy, a lot of youngsters that uh, now are performing in in uh, in, uh, in some other teams. Anyway, anyhow, but yes, yes, Bocayo, yeah. Did he sort of strike you straight away? I know he's very young at that point, but could you see there was something sort of special there in terms of his potential and well, his it, character mindset? It's difficult to see uh, that 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 young, especially Arsenal. You 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 know when I mentioned all the guys that I mentioned, just yeah. imagine the, the you know Alexei Wobi also was there. You know, obviously older, but that was kind of the two three years generation of those guys. Uh, you could see that he wanted to run at people. He wanted the ball. He was brave on the ball. Uh, it was it was too early to tell. And uh, and uh, when I saw him breaking in, into the first team, because after I left, I was like, wow, it's uh, it's amazing. But I always liked the attitude of the kid. Um, I can say kid. I always liked the attitude of the kid, uh, commitment. And what I like it, what I like about him is he cares about his club. Uh, and he will do whatever to make sure that the team wins and, uh, you know, you have to respect that. I've got to really ask you about the Daniel Ek takeover. We've heard from Dennis Bergkamp today, he's been speaking about it and saying that he won't give up, Daniel won't give up and you guys won't give up. Has your confidence been knocked at all by the Cronkies' refusal to discuss anything or do you still believe that it could happen? No, like I said to you and like Dennis just said, still the same thing. Then after, you know, you have to wait and see. It's something that, like I said, I don't know if you saw what I said on Monday Night Football. Yeah. It will take a long time and that's where we are.